Hello everyone, it's Lola here again. I welcome you back to my kitchen. So today we are going to be making garlic roasted potatoes. Yes, potato is something I love so much. Actually, it's something we love so much in my house and we eat it for breakfast, lunch or dinner. But today I'm just going to show you a very easy way to make a very delicious roasted potatoes. So let's get started. For this recipe, I'm going to be using Two variety of potatoes i have the red potatoes and the white ones however you can use any variety you want well let me say most variety of potatoes i've also used russet potatoes for this and it came out beautifully well so i'll just say russet red or white potatoes um the next thing i'm going to do right now is just to cut my potatoes i'll go ahead and divide them into four and the smaller ones I'm going to divide into two parts. I want the sizes to be a little even so everything can cook together at the same time. And by the way, I've already washed these potatoes thoroughly. I'm not peeling them because I really don't peel my red and white potatoes. But when it comes to roasted potatoes, I kind of peel them if I feel like, you know. So when you're using the red and white ones, it's okay to leave the skin on. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil. This is about four tablespoons of olive oil, some salt to taste, a little bit of paprika for some color, and a tiny little bit of cayenne pepper just for the heat. You know, if you've been following me on this channel, you know I like you know, some heat in my food. So I always, always like to add that. So just go ahead and mix everything together until all the potatoes are well coated with the spices. So I've got my baking pan here. <laughs> Please don't judge me. I know it's not dirty, but it's been really used and I'm addicted to this. I, I don't know if I'm ready to even buy another one right now. Well, so I'm just going to go ahead and you know, pour my potatoes inside my pan. You want everything to be well spread and in this way everything is going to be able to you know, crisp up when it's baking in the oven. So next is the garlic. I'm going to just cut off about a quarter inch of the head of the garlic just like this. Then I'm going to kind of clean it up a little bit. Once I'm getting to the cloves of the garlic, I'm going to stop there. Then I'm going to get a foil paper. Place the garlic over the foil paper, then go ahead and sprinkle it with a little bit of salt, very little. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil over this. I think that's just fine. Go ahead and wrap it up together. And that is it. I'm now going to go ahead and put this wrapped garlic right inside my baking pan the same pan where i'm going to be roasting my potatoes and basically that is it this is ready to go into our oven at this point i'm just going to be taking this to my 425 degrees preheated oven and i'm going to be baking this for about 45 minutes to one hour and in between the baking process, I'm going to flip it about once or twice just to make sure everything is crispy before I take it out of the oven. So I'll see you in about an hour time. So now our potatoes are all done. They are well roasted and as you can see, they are crispy. So the next thing to do right now is just to get our garlic. As you can see, the garlic is super soft and well baked. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that inside my pot. You can use a fork to kind of assist yourself. So once you are done popping out all the garlic from the shell, just go ahead and mash the garlic with a fork, just like this. Once it's well mashed, go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. I'm using two sprigs of rosemary and two sprigs of thyme. So now I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together. I want the herbs to be able to infuse their flavor inside 
the oil so that's basically what we are doing here so we're just going to get it heated up for about let's say a minute or two or you know anywhere in between and once everything becomes fragrant once the smell really comes out we are good to go so our herb and garlic mixture is now smelling really good the final thing we are going to do at this point is now just to pour our potatoes inside the mixture now go ahead and mix everything together so here we go guys our roasted potatoes are all done it smells beautiful in here and it tastes just as good so i'm just going to take this off the heat and we're going to start digging in <laughs> so that's it again for today thank you very much for spending your time with me and all the details to today's recipe can be found in the description box below until next time i'll talk to you shortly enjoy <laughs>